Hey there! In this lesson, we will be solving areas using multiplication and addition. First, let's recall what the area is. Area is the space a shape takes up. The easiest way to measure area is by unit squares, a square with a side length of one unit. For example, this rectangle can be drawn with unit squares. Let's count how many unit squares it has. One, two, three, four, five, six unit squares. So its area is six square units. Now, how can we make this even easier? By doing multiplication. Instead of counting all the unit squares, we can simply multiply the number of squares across the top by the number of squares down the side. In this case, we will have three times two, which is equal to six unit squares. Same answer, but a lot faster. Let's practice more by matching the shape to the correct area. Again, you'll count the number of unit squares across the top and multiply it by the number of squares down the side to find the area faster. The area of the first shape is four square units, since two times two equals four. The area of the second shape is eight square units, since four times two equals eight. The area of the third shape is five square units, since five times one is five. And finally, the last shape is left with an area of nine square units, which is true because three times three equals nine. Now, what if we have a complex shape like this? The multiplication trick won't work because it's not a plain rectangle or square. But actually, we can cut this shape to make two rectangles. So to get the area of this complex shape, we can find the area of the two rectangles using the multiplication trick and then add them together. Let's start with this rectangle. There are two squares across the top and three down the side. So the area is two times three, which equals six square units. The other rectangle has one square across the top and two down the side. So its area is one times two equals two square units. Adding the two areas, we have six plus two, which equals eight square units, the area of the complex shape. Let's try another one. For this next complex shape, the measure of the sides are already given. So first, let's cut it this way so we have one square and one rectangle instead. Can you help me solve the area of the square? Since the side measures are already given, simply multiply them. That's right, the area of the square is four square meters because two times two equals four. How about the rectangle? Multiplying the sides, we have two times five equals 10 square meters. Finally, let's add the areas. Four plus 10 equals 14 square meters. Let's keep practicing modeling and representing area using addition and multiplication. Push pause while you complete each task. You can do this on your own. Brainstorm. Look around your classroom. What other shapes could you find the area of using addition or multiplication? I've got one. How about a whiteboard or bulletin board? You can do this with a partner or on your own. Grab some graph paper. That's the one with the tiny squares. You and your partner can take turns drawing shapes and having each other find the area. Remember to write the area in square units.
Let's try a challenge. Now, challenge your partner by drawing and finding the area of a complex shape. Excellent! That sums up our lesson on solving areas using multiplication and addition. See you next time! Did you enjoy this video? Bottle has more awesome learning content delivered through amazing 3D games. Sign up today!